installing more pinstriping on my 2015 Ford F-150 Lariat Red on the Lariat Grill of the Blue Beastie. This is how you do it. <laughs> I have the worst time getting this thing started. I didn't turn the light on. Mm-hmm. Let me try. What do you mean? Try to pull the... Outside edge here. I'm just a little bit curled under there. Probably should have put more curled under, but and yeah, it just takes a certain amount of like eye in it to make it look good. Because there ain't no way to get it precise. You just have to eye it. And say you don't want to pull it too tight, but you want to pull it, you know, a little tight. And you can always pull it back up. You need to reposition it. It's just a chip. See, this is pretty easy because it's not really that much of a curve. Some of these guys I've seen do like crazy curves. How's that look? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks like it's awful. Though. I think it looks perfect. I think I started curving too soon. Bit me on the mm. elbow. Probably a mosquito. How far are you going? What do you mean? It's going all the way around. Oh gosh. I don't know why I didn't do this first. It makes more sense. It's almost like this spot was made to have a stripe or color on it, you know? I'm getting all wavy now, see? So you gotta make sure you pull it tight enough, but not too tight. It's a little wavy still.
Okay. Yeah. It's pretty easy putting this stuff down. You just gotta take your time. I think tinting those. I got tint for the headlights. I think that's gonna be a lot harder. You gotta get you gotta make a straight Here it is during the day, the blue beastie with the red pinstriping on the grill. See, I was actually following the uh, curves of the body line, but I off a little bit on these where it breaks. It would look better if it was right on that edge. And I tried to hit it right here. But I don't know, maybe I should have run, should run this all the way and not have that going up or maybe have that, but then still have that run all the way. I'm also thinking right here, definitely, I'm going to get ready to put that on there now. But I don't know whether I should do more or not. I mean, it's cheap, so you can always take it off. People in some of the other videos act like this stuff's expensive or something. Well, the stuff at AutoZone was like $5 or something, so it was pretty cheap. I bought every color. <laughs> and do it. <laughs> I, you can definitely get carried away, I think, but it's fun. It changes the look up a little. And I've thought about outlining these in red or black. Blue would be nice. I did. This was the first thing I did, and it was a bad job. I need to redo it. And I didn't finish either. It needs red there, there, there. All this side still needs red. I thought about blacking that out or probably buying one of the kits on eBay or something would be easier than trying to cut all those little pieces because that is quite difficult. This side I haven't done anything with. Maybe I'll try a different color on this side. I thought about red pinstriping the whole side, you know, and have it run right up into that on the FX4 logo. Same thing in the back. I thought about pinstriping on that curve there. I don't know. It's fun. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below for sure. I'd like to know if you think it looks good, bad, no different. I think it definitely does something for this kind of boring uh, grill on the Lariat on the 2015 model. I think the chrome grill looks better, but overall I don't want a chrome vehicle. I like the black, but this grill is just, ugh. It looks like the base model grill, like the XL grill or something. 
and I thought about changing that to like the Raptor grill, but I don't want to spend that kind of money, and it's just like everybody's done that, so. But uh, stay tuned, because I got all kinds of projects, like I bought all these lights that were on clearance, and put this in, LED light set up. I got the, uh, there's all the pin striping. Also got the uh, tent for the the headlights, of course. Do that. What do I do with this stuff? There's more pin striping. I bought all these lights on clearance at AutoZone, fifty percent off. Right, here's all the lights I picked up that so I'm gonna maybe potentially install some of these so it'd be a nice little walkthrough and update. But so here's the other yeah, LED light truck bed set up. Which is pretty cool. It's just an extension cable for the Easy Link strobe station. So we got the Wi-Fi wireless one. Or wireless, not Wi-Fi, and then the regular one, strobe station, easy link. Power and control, all easy link strobes. So here we go. Echo strobe, bell strobe, prime strobe, and aura strobe. And everything was 50% off. These were like $50, $60. So they were like $25 and $15 or something. These were, I don't even know. I can't remember. But it wasn't as expensive as these controller things were. This extension, it was pretty cheap. This stuff I got a while back from Advanced Auto. Like it. God, a year ago. Um, this is your, I guess, outside stuff. I'm going to put it on the outside, I think. And this is all, it says it's all this easy link stuff. So this is easy link, this is easy link. So I don't know if it links together or not or what, but, or if I need a controller for these. Well, this is a starter kit. So I guess it's got everything you need. Anyway, stay tuned and you'll see that install eventually on the old blue beastie here, the Ford F-150. Thanks for watching. Hope you make, enjoyed and, you know, found something interesting, but you probably didn't. Anyway, make sure smash those buttons, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Mr. G's out.